News 3 reporter Nana Sanchobansu speaks with a local salon owner about some ways businesses can limit interactions when they open back up. Thank you for calling Salon Fringe. The answering machine is what you'll hear when you call most businesses these days. Salon Fringe will be closed until further notice due to COVID-19. The owners of Salon Fringe had plans to celebrate 10 years of business in Norfolk this week. Well, we were hoping for a big 10-year sale and promotion. But plans are on hold. The shampoo bowl is dry, combs are sitting in solution, and seats are empty. And it's still hard to to come in here and not be around the people that I'm around 40 plus hours a week. Kevin Davis is one of the owners here who has about 12 people on his payroll. He says this hasn't been easy for their clients either. We do have some clients that are they're accustomed to having their hair colored every two to three weeks. Governor Ralph Northam says when will the barbershops and salons reopen is a question he gets all the time. For those individuals that, that are in need of a haircut uh, and uh, more importantly, the barbers, uh, it's at the top of my priority list. Owners say when the salon does open back up, they're going to put measures in place to keep themselves and clients safe. I'm going to provide all of my staff with masks to wear while providing services in the salon. When shops get the okay to open, Davis recommends other salons should start operating by appointment only. It allows you to limit how many people you actually have in your business. And also consider your forms of payment. When we do get back, I think limiting cash, hand-to-hand -hand cash, is gonna be is gonna be important as well. But until then, he wants everyone to take care of themselves. Thank you, and we hope you and your family stay safe and healthy. In Norfolk, Nanasin Bonsu, News 3.